the Akari Chargers. Center from Dallas South University, number six, team captain, Michelle Cobb. Outside spiker from San Verde University, number nine, Janine Marciano. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number 10, Ezra Madrigal. Outside spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 11, Erica Raagas. Middle blocker from La Salle, number 14, Fifi Sharma. Opposite hitter from the National University, number 16, Dindin Santiago Manabat. The libero from La Salle, number 15, Justine Hazareno. And the head coach for Akari is Jorge Sousa de Brito. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the game's And here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PVL via the Pilipinas live app. For Filipinos everywhere, download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. No faith in these pedals in the starting lineup for the Chargers. Uh, she is suited up. Well, we didn't see her warming up as intensely as we, we usually see her. Let's see how the Chargers will face this final game uh, the all filipino conference they're five and five in the standings uh, coming off a loss against the angels after back-to-back -back wins against jerk floor and galleries yeah. served by marciano and this is going to be akari's last game and it's going to be might be their toughest one yet since they're facing green line who's currently sitting at nine and zero i agree that is a nice way of looking at it. <laughs> uh, what a way to, to, to close it out against the top team in the conference. And uh, Agas getting the first point. And an interesting lineup as well with Faith Nesperos on the bench. Negrito sets it up. Bangs Panaga. Oh. And uh, Cobb just let it go. Yeah, that was too fast for Cobb. She was down and... The, yeah. the ball was too fast for her. I don't know. Uh, San Pedro Laguna and Gemma Galanza. One of the fan favorites. Seven straight games in double digits. Wow. Rex, right? Just, and she had a triple double performance yeah. in her last game. Just getting better and better. There's a chance ball here for Cobb Madrigal. There's the up. Here's Valdez. Marciano overpass. Valdez gets it back. Negrito a back set to Gumama. Oh, and Marciano with a dig. Here comes Ragas. Blocked. Manabat pops it up. Ragas against two blockers. Oh, pancake save is too low for Valdez. And it started also with an out of system play for a green line. And it was Akari taking advantage of that one. And for coach Jorge Souza de Brito. Now for the gold Chargers. medal in the Olympics in 92. You've got to be happy. It was a first long rally of the opening set, and they came out on top. Yes, and it might be a preview of the whole match. And for sure, kapag yung Akari, if they want to get consistent points, maraming rallies yung pagdadaanan yeah. because um, Cream Line is a very good uh, net. They're, as, they're, as a team, they're good uh, net defenders and floor defenders. That's right. I mean, you have Kaila Yenza on the floor, an AVC best libero. Wow. So, I believe any player dito sa cream line, uh, sa starting lineup, if you put that in on any team, they will yeah. make immediate impact. That's so right. that's how strong this uh, cream line lineup is. Manabat Santiago misfires. Santiago Manabat sending it wide. Yeah, that was actually too wide for Manabat. He was way over the blockers. Kaso masyado niyang iniwas on that one. So two all here in the opening set. Uh, there's going to be a challenge. Block touch. Or a net touch. A net touch. Yeah, kasi kung block touch, sobrang ibabaw kasi si Dindin eh. 6-2. Dindin, Santiago Manaban. So, on most occasions, you're really going to be hitting above the blockers <laughs> with that kind of height. <laughs> 
21 errors for these Chargers in that loss against the Angels. They had 15 blocks and two aces as well. On the way down, net touch, oh. there is. Yeah. Dito nakita yun ah. Good observation. The side of Akari there. Excellent call for the staff of Coach Flores Souza de Brito. Successful challenge for the Chargers as Manaba to a serve. They are going to be up by one here. 3 2, opening set. Nice serve, Valdez with a receive. Gumabao off the block of Raagas. Let's check it. I'm not the steal. This conference, we have all witnessed a better showing from the Akagi Chargers. And with that, this is what Chaco Manabat says, and I quote, Nagampanan ko na yung role ko bilang ate ng team. As I mentioned earlier, the Chargers are taking this match at the championship level where they're dedicated to play all out for pride, morale, and love for the game. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive TVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in Mainview, Multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now back to you, Eric and Rex. All right. Thank you very much, Kyla. Ragas getting the point off a block touch, I believe. A Sato will knock it in right in front of Santiago Manabat. That's an early middle attack here. That's short running play for Risa Sato. Valdez, meantime, coming off an eight point performance. She started in all three, uh, first three sets of that four set win against the crossovers. Nice hit by Marciano. Wow. And good reception also for Fifi Sharma. And to think Marciano didn't play against the Angels, not even a set. She, uh, she looks like she's in sync, and her offense is in top-notch condition, Rex. Yeah, she's a veteran player, and really it shows na she can fill up any spot, even uh, leading to Nesperos on the bench. In the meantime, Mat Nagali with the block up top. Good start so far here for Akari. Kita, every point, nilalaban talaga nila. This is their last game. And I'm sure they're gonna go all out. Fifi Sharma, nine points in their last game. She started in all four sets of that loss against the Angels. Negrito to Galanza. Off the block, Cobb, Marciano again. There's a Ooh. net touch against Negrito. Yeah, that time around, that was a clear net touch. Oh, <laughs> two um, net errors here early for Creamline. And an early lead for the Chargers, their biggest lead of three points. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a costly error because it's good if you're going to be up against a different team. Three points, medyo okay. But come cream line, may, mahirap talaga habulin or palayuin yung lamang. Sato with a serve, Ragas with a nice pass. Here comes Madrigal, oh, putting it away. What a good start here for Madrigal. A block and a short running spike for Owen. That was a strong one, but the ball. Two points for Madrigal. Former FU Lady Tamarau played in season 82, but she wasn't in the lineup anymore in season 84. Cobb, in the meantime. Yung cream line, they look like um, they're waiting for that spark na para magtuloy tuloy na sila. Pag uminit na sila, it's gonna be that usual scary cream line. And right now, they're starting off a little cold. Galanza against the triple block. Oh. And it falls in. Excellent defense by the Chargers. What a, what a block there for Gemma Galanza. And so far, Gemma has been quiet. Eliza has been yeah. quiet. Does, does this look like championship volleyball to you from the Chargers? <laughs> Akari looks like um, they're going to bring this game onto the next conference. Champion may build up silang confidence from this game. Marciano 
Easy over. Negrito back to Galanza. They want to get her going. I guess the pass underhand from Cobb. Oh, Manabat. Did hit Manabat taking advantage of that height difference. This is a 6-1 run by the Chargers, Rex. Wow. For sure. Nagulat itong green line. Uh, medyo tulog pa yung mga beasts. <laughs> Former Lady Spiker, Michelle Cobb with the serve. Here's Galanza. Uh, that's off. Coach DeBrito, which yeah. means it's outside. Another point here, seven to one run for the Chargers. Yes, that started with a good service by Michelle Cobb. That was a short ball, and it was Panaga uh, receiving that one. That's how short it was. Frontline area where the ball dropped on the serve by Cobb. Skipped her final season with DLSU to go pro. Michelle Cobb, there's another short serve. Bons is in the game. Oh, there. Nice wow. turn by Bons to stop. <laughs> wow. Run by the Chargers. What a very smart high IQ play by Bernadette Bons. Parang beach volleyball siya dun eh. Very experienced player and even I thought that was going out. Bons has been playing beach volleyball since 2019. She's just transitioned this season, this year, to indoor. Nice down the line serve, overpass. Oh. Naga will be called for an overreach. Naga is arguing na yung bola pumasok na daw sa side nila. What did it look like? You're a middle blocker, Rex. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna agree with the, with the referee. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's close call, pala. <laughs> Para na sa gitna. Eh. Gitna, oh. Oh, not a good Ooh. pass there from Pons. Pons will get it back. This is a uh, break ball. Hazareno sets it up for Manabat. Off speed. Pons picks it up. Near Gumabao. Oh, wow. <laughs> terrific shot. This is the second already for Madrigal. What a run for Akari. This is an 8 to 1 run oh. for the Chargers. 9 to 1 run as we hit our one and only technical timeout. Download Pilipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, PBA, UAAP, and PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Back to the opening set of this second game. Your triple header. And Madrigal with three points already. Two blocks, one attack. Uh, lead time, Manabat. One point already. Kumaba, one point. They're led by Panaga with two. Uh, right now, this is a seven-point lead oh. against or deficit for the Cool Smashers as the Chargers in full control of the opening set. Right? Yes, it just shows their preparation bearing fruit. And may kita mo sa net defense nila, Madrigal and Manabat so far, the combination of uh, those two players have been very uh, effective for Akari. Good pass by Pons. Negrito back to Pons. Hazareno pops oh. it up. Cobb to Manabat with a push. Atienza picking it up. There's Panaga. Oh. Hazareno with the dig. Manabat again. Oh. Oh, block of Pons. Still, it's unstoppable. Akari and 
we have to credit also Hazareno. Pinaghirapan niya kada balik ng bola sa Akari. And we talked about Hazareno and that double-double against the Angels. And, you know, she's playing at that level still today. And this is a rookie, yeah? Yep. <laughs> 10 to 2 run in favor of the Chargers. Oh, so there's a miss uh, by a rare one by Hazarin. After complimenting her several times, an error Muna. That stops the run for the Chargers. But the Cool Smashers have their work cut out for them here in the opening set. They're down by seven. Chargers have doubled the output of the Cool Smashers. Not a good pass there coming from Hazareno. Ragas oh. will send it outside. So back-to-back -back points for the Cool Smashers. Yes, that started with a good service from Pons. Masyadong uh, mataas yun for Hazareno. That's why it led to that miss hit by Ragas. So Pons. Oh. But... It's been that way in the first part of this opening set for the Cool Smashers. And they're a very error-prone team. They're always above 25 when it comes to errors. In their last game, that four-set win against the crossover is 29 errors. Wow. And they still won. And maybe it's because they can... Parang nakabawi sila from yeah. those errors. I mean, you've got Carlos, you've got Galanza, oh. you've got Valdez, you've got Gumabao. Of course, you'll be able to generate a lot of offense despite the errors. Manabat. Oh, Pancake save is no good for Yenza, and she knew it. And this is why it, that uh, service error was really crucial for Cream Line. Because it's so long, 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 down the line, it's outside for Gumabao as the entire offensive line for the Coast Masters. And right now, misfiring. There's going to be a challenge, ball in, ball out challenge here for Coach Meneses. It's going to be interesting to see. It looked close from where we're sitting. We're right in front of that line. Yeah, and they're varying their attacks right now because Kahit gano'ng kalakas na palo ng uh, cream line, nagdidepensan. Ang ganda ng floor defense na pinapakita ng Akari this first set. And this time, uh, Michelle went down the line. However, um, the ref said it, the line judge said uh, it sailed out of bounds. And if, if it's not dug, it's touched at the net. So the ball slows down for an easy receive, an easy pass. And right now, you can see, still see all smiles for the Cool Smashers. Yeah. It's not a problem, win or lose today. They're going to make it to the semifinals. But of course, you want to maintain that perfect record, right? Yeah, for sure. They, they would want still to win this game because they want that solo lead uh, at number one. No quarterfinals here in the second All-Filipino Conference, which is why only four teams will advance. That is why every game, every win will count down the stretch here. Let's take a look at this. Really Whoa. close. Wow. And it looked like it kind of touched. Whoa. No, it did not touch the line. It's really, really close. It is off by a few pixels. millimeters <laughs> and pixels. That's right. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Meneses, and he will use a timeout here. The best cheer dancing competition in the country is back. Catch the UAAP Season 86 Cheer Dance Competition December 2, 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. That's going to be this weekend. Watch it live on One Sports UAAP Varsity Channel and Filipinas Live. It's a nine-point lead for the Chargers here in the opening set. Michelle Gumabao and the Cool Smashers, they have only dropped five sets wow. in nine matches. And another misreception there. Sharma. 
Popped up by De Jesus. Back set. Bumabao. Nice dig for Marciano. That dunk uh -huh. attempt is blocked. And so, the full smashers will get a stop, Rex. Yes, uh, they're now just... Mape Galanza in the game for the first time, along with Dots Carlos coming off the bench and coming off a 16-point performance. Vagas off the block <laughs> and no runs for the Cool Smashers next. Yeah, cada point na clean line, it's another point answered right back by Akari. That was a smart play for Agas going down the line against a fresh-legged uh, Dots Carlos. Former Lady Eagle. They call themselves just Blue Eagles now. Erika Agas. Tots Carlos. Oh. Boss Court is good. And it doesn't matter if she's been on the floor for 20 minutes or <laughs> she's just on the floor for the first time. Tots Carlos, always deadly. Yeah, Tots Carlos is a plug and play <laughs> player. Every time she's on the court, she's parang pawis na pawis na siya. Eh. Hindi na mang warm up, warm up. Nine point lead still, though, for. The Chargers, there's a tip by Pons. Easy pickup for Hazareno. Oh. Uh, Anabat once again. He has been unstoppable here. Five points. Yeah, so far, this first set, yung head to head matchup, natin, which was um, Dindin Manabat against uh, Gemma Galanza. So far, it's Dindin Manabat leading. He's been unstoppable in this first set. It's one sided. Oh, Galanza has not scored. Mm. See, Dindin Mapa, front line or back line, she can yeah. score. Pons. Oh, wow. Whew. That's the Pons we know <laughs> from the FEU days. And it's going to be interesting for Green Line because um, this is just the first set. Uh, Akari is leading by nine. Ako, there are some players who say, But there are some players like me who are going to think, like, na parang. Ah, sige, sa inyo na itong first set. <laughs> Pahinga na, babawi Pawi. na kami first set. Ngayon, pawis na kami, umanda kayo sa second set. <laughs> Marciano with the tip. Pons with the dig. Galanza pops it up. And oh, that is wow. just Whoa. outside for Carlos. And they're going to challenge yeah. it. One challenge remaining for Coach Meneses. It looked close again. Yeah, from just like the Dumabaw hit. From my angle naman, I thought it went in. It just slow mo eh. Yeah, it looked like it actually touched the line, so... I'm not going to be surprised <laughs> if this is going to be a successful challenge. Yeah, that was a very beautiful uh, drop. Right? Was it a drop? What was a cut shot oh. or an off-speed off speed hit? It's like a rainbow. Oh, yeah, that was it. Clearly it. So a successful challenge, finally, for Coach Meneses. He retains one more challenge. Lead was at 10 for the Chargers. It's down to 8 now. Oh, good serve. Battle at the net. Won by the smaller Cobb against Panaga. Ooh. Oh, nice push by Carlos. Wow. And a bad pass there from Hazareno. Wow. 
back-to-back -back points uh, of Tots Carlos. Yung kanina um, off-speed hit. Yeah. Ngayon, another, I believe, off-speed trample hit. And Coach Debrito wary about this run by the Cool Smashers. We'll call a timeout to listen in to the Chargers. You have a lot. There's two points they did. It's only doing this. Okay? So, people move. Move, take a little bit higher to give the time for us. Time for us. The guys are fighting there inside. Go together, go together, the ball. Huh? That's yours, it's ours. Same, same for you, come inside. Get access to the second All Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League live and in high definition on What Sports Plus. Plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to single postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call hashtag 88555 or visit your nearest signal dealer. Kabo. The option and scores. Yeah, and very unfortunate for Greenline because Risa Sato was serving really well, targeting Raagas. That was actually an over reception from Raagas, but Michelle Kopp making the most out of that one. Carlos, cross court, picked up by Raagas. Manabat with a push. Mafe Galanza pops it up. Here comes Carlos, tips it. Oh, once again. Another one. Siguro yung Akari, hindi sila prepared sa mga drop ball ni Tots Carlos. Siguro sa pinlaktis nila yung mga malalakas na thunder spikes of Tots Carlos. Three points agad for Tots coming off the bench. This is a 4-1 to one run, Rex, for the Cool Smashers. Yeah. On the comeback trail here in the opening set. Gumabao and Negrito back in the game. Michelle, that is popped up by Cobb. Manabat hits. Atienza with the dig. Here comes Pons. Ooh. Got it. This is a 5 to 1 run by the Cool Smashers. That was her. Actually, I thought it was Eliza Valdez. Had the same form sila on that one. A very strong hit, a smart hit, avoiding the blockers. Where is that Pons? Keeping Greenline alive. Cobb to the middle. Oh, wow. What a dig for Atienza. Gumabao. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Six to one run for the Cool Smashers, and the fans are loving it. <laughs> so I guess they're the team. Uh, Lalaban, lalaban talaga sila ng dulo. Yep. Hanggang di pa magka 25. They're not 90 no for <laughs> nothing. And for sure, they're gonna go to Raagas again. They've been targeting her all game. Much better pass. Oh, oh. but that push is short for Madrigal. There's one more timeout here for Coach De Brito. He's not using wow. it yet. Wow. But that 10 point lead is down to wow. four. And a couple of substitutions here. As Pang Pineda and Rosel Paliton check in for the first time. Very unfortunate because Madrigal was playing yeah. uh, well also. And medyo mababa lang talaga and mabilis yung set of Michelle Cobb. Paliton, two points in the last game. She came off the bench in the third, started in the fourth in that four-set loss against the Angels. Cobb. To Manabat. No, oh, 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 oh. sends it outside. Eight to one wow. run for the Cool Smashers. 19 22. And Akari just needs one, one point. Kanina, they just need one point para makarotate. Just for breathing room. Kaso, they, need, they really need to stop the bleeding right now. Oh, oh another bad pass. Oh. Oh. Nine to one run for the Cool Smashers from down ten. They are there now within two points. Started with a Mr. Sepp. Good service from 
Streamline. However, I don't know why Michelle didn't get that one. She could have done it with yeah. an underhand, though. Yeah. Nice serve again. Oh. Overpass. Oh! oh. We'll dump it, and it's a <laughs> one point game. Beg your pardon, no wow. more timeouts for the Chargers, wow. which is why Coach DeBrito can't yeah. stop this run. Coach Jorge looks like he's in disbelief right now. And he was really confident with a 9.8 point lead. 10 at 10. Wow. What a collapse here for the Chargers. If the Cool Smashers go on to win this. Oh, oh finally. finally a stop here <laughs> by Manabat. And finally, they get a proper reception. And Din Din got the set that he that she wanted. And all of a sudden, it's a really close game. Yep. Marshano also started off pretty well, but she has cooled off since scoring two points early in the opening set. Bones from the oh, wow. <laughs> No runs for the Chargers. Wow. Thanks. And... Bernadette Pons has been very effective in her attacks. And don't look now, Pons will sit down after she's done the damage. <laughs> and look who's back, Gemma Galanza. And we, we mentioned Galanza, scoreless still, but at any given time, she can just erupt. Yeah, that was a grabbing substitution. Yeah, Bernadette Pons and Tots Carlos. Yep. Negrito. Oh, no. Through the block and that's it. <laughs> the game is tied at 23. Wow, what happened? The lead is gone. Erased, evaporated from up 10. And this is going to be our fifth deadlock. Wow, it, it just shows why they're a champion team. They remain calm all throughout the oh, first set. Another point. Wow. That's the back points for the cool smashers, and from down 10 points, they are at set point in the <laughs> opening set, Rex. And they look like this was their plan all along. No, they, they, they're all chill. Their faces na parang, okay, when is this set gonna end? <laughs> First lead of the set for the cool smashers at 24-23. Madrigal is back in, Baliton sits down. If Greenline wins this set, this is gonna be one of the best. Oh! Comebacks I've yeah. ever witnessed. I agree. But not yet, says Gemma. Yeah. Sends it into the net on the serve. So after an ace, she commits the service fault. 24 all. Madrigal to serve. And Charma's back, the front line. And let's see, we Akari really needs her blocking right now. Negrito sets it up. Gumabao. And there's <laughs> a block. And that's going to be set point for the first time in the set for the Chargers. And it, speaking of uh, Sharma, get that on pass of Nibibi on that one. Getting the cross court of Michelle Gumavo because she knew that Manapat will cover that down the line. And get that on Apple Nibibi on that one. Chance to close it out. Negrito, what will she do? Go to Valdez, why not? Wow. Single blocker! No problem for Eliza Valdez. Set point wiped off. We're tied at 25. Yeah, that was a one on one uh, attack for Eliza, and that's a mismatch if you're going to give Eliza a good set and just one blocker. Most of, most of the time, it's going to be a point. 25 all. Extended opening set. Nice serve. Good serve. Cobb to Sharma. Here's Gumabao. Oh. She has really struggled here in this opening set. After a nine-point performance against the crossovers, she hits it into the net. So the Chargers back up set point number two. Yeah, before that error, she got a point. However, ngayon ibabalik niya to for Akari. Gumabao only three points. All right, there's going to oh. be a challenge there. We're probably going to say it hit the blocker first yeah. b before hitting the antenna but after seeing that replay i think nauna by a split second yung antenna, antenna. Yeah. And 23 high speed cameras all around the court and even at the top of the poles of the net so that we can capture every piece of action in every match 
in the PVL. Cool Smashers undefeated at 9-0. And take a look here. Yeah, it was Antenna first. Yeah. That's going to be the first attack fault for Gumabao. So set point number two for the Chargers. No more challenges remaining for Coach Meneses and the Cool Smashers. Six points for Manabat. Valdez. Oh. Hazareno pops it up. Ragas, this is a chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Negrito back to Valdez. Cross oh. court off the face of Hazareno. Hazareno sends it over. Another chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Valdez wow. with a tip. Oh. When you need a point, you go to Eliza Valdez and she will deliver. Yes, and in that, in that point, si Fifi Sharma sumugal siya kay uh, Lisa Sato. There's going to be a challenge here, though. A net touch yeah, challenge by the Chargers. What oh. an exchange here. Yeah. I don't think these 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 players want to end this opening yeah. If the challenge is successful, it's gonna be Chargers winning the opening set on the second set point. Meantime, these Chargers, 5-5, five and five, they will not make it to the semifinals. They're coming off a loss against the Angels after back-to-back -back wins against Galleries and Jerflor. Chargers, probably one of their biggest games against uh, their sister team, Nextled, and they lost that. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Oh. oh, there's no touch. All right, so set point, save. Save. By the Cool Smashers, we're tied. Twenty-six all. But Agas with a nice pass. There's oh. Sharma. Negrito. They go back to Valdez. There's a block coverage by Galanza. The tip by Sharma. Oh. A against Sato. And this is going to be set point number three for the Chargers. The most crucial net touch of this set. And Green Line actually started with two uh, net errors. Again, like what you said, they're Green Line's very prone to errors. Yep. All right. Another set point to close it out. Bad pass there from De Jesus. Going to be a chance ball for oh. the Chargers. Let's see what Cobb does. Cobb to Sharma. <laughs> Sharma will put it away. And PP Sharma really wanted that no transition pala yung atras pala niya. She really wanted to finish this set. They had led by as many as 10 points yeah. the Chargers did. They lost it. And in fact, full smashers were at set point first. Chargers took three set points for them to close it out. And the opening set going to Akari 28-26 against Cream Line.
New streaming experiences also await via the Pilipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Final score at the end of the opening set, 28-26. Is the Chargers winning against the undefeated Cool Smashers? And that's just the sixth set lost by the Cool Smashers in the all second all Filipino conference. Yes, we're excited to have green line on that one. And if you're an Akari fan, naman, pinaka baka pa ng onte. And actually, um, it was Akari all throughout the set. And it was a cruise all the way to the 20th point. A uh, couple of errors here on the side of Green Line. And then nung, when they reach that 20th point, bigla lang sila tumigil. Bigla lang nagising naman tong Green Line. And it even led to a point that they led at 23. However, yung pasok ni Phoebe Sharma was very crucial for Akari. Pag papasok pa lang niya, she had to deliver the block point and she even closed out that first set. And we're gonna look at the in that first set. It was streamlined with more attack points, actually 18 to 15. And for sure, it happened on the latter part of the set. However, yung blocking, ito, 2 to 5, it was uh, Manabat and Madrigal in the start. And Vicky Sharma ending with uh, piling up to all five blocks. Sa aces naman, it's 2 to 0 for Streamline. Chargers led by Manabat with 7, followed by Ragas with 4. Meantime, for the Cool Smashers, it is Spons off the bench with five points. Carlos and Gumaba with four each. Galanza only with one point. Is she the missing factor for the Cool Smashers, Rex, in that uh, opening set loss for Creamline? Possib she can possibly be the missing factor because uh, in her last performance, she delivered a triple-double performance. And ito namang si Manabat, uh, living up to her name, uh, 26 points. And we all know, yung uh, opposite spikers sila yung mga scorers. And with her last game, 26 points. And this game, a very good first set for Dindi. Oh, that, that was is too close. Bad pass. Yes, oh. Galanza. <laughs> That's her first attack point of the match. Nagkabalik na naman. A uh, couple of errors happened here uh, by Dindin Din and si Gemma naman, uh, yung pinag-uusapan pa lang natin, now delivering a second point. Cool Smashers on top by one. Just their second lead of the match. Good pass by Marciano, one-handed set. There's Madrigal with the tip, dug by Valdez. Oh, smart. And pancake saved by Cobb. Madabat, wait a minute, there's gonna be a challenge here by the Cool Smashers. They're gonna say Cobb's pancake save was no good. What do you see, Rex? Yeah, I think it was no good as well. And, and, and I mean, I see, uh, Michelle, yeah. usually you can tell from the oh. face, right? If they're kind of upset. Yeah. And they like, may and have they may have had a touch, but Michelle is smiling. Yeah, like sorry, it's just a teammate, <laughs> niya, sa coaches. Niya. However, deeper she is sorry, sa referee. I guess she doesn't want the green card. Or <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, good start here for the Cool Smashers after losing in the opening set. Yeah, it's yeah. half the ball is on the floor there. So there is a floor touch, an unsuccessful, or a successful challenge for Coach Meneses and the Cool Smashers. So they will score consecutive points here. And it just shows the Green Line's mental composure. Coming into the second set, they didn't look like, parang, oh, we're down the set or yeah. anything. They look really composed, confident, and, oh, the mindset nila is, Okay, ito pala yung first set. We need to win three straight right now. Parang binaliwala, binaliwala na nila yung first. You know what they say, you get, you're an athlete, you gotta have a short-term memory. Yeah. Forget about <laughs> the last play, the last set, uh, move forward. And what a start here, three nothing. Now it's a nice monster block for the Cool Smashers. Good pass. Manabat, off the block by Carlos. Negrito back to Carlos. Cobb with the up. Hazareno passes. Manabat once again. Valdez. Great coverage in the back oh. row. 
Galanza with a uh -huh. power push. There's Cobb. Another long rally here. Manabat rejected. Hazan Reno with an excellent dig. Here's Marchano oh. short. That's going to be four touches. Oh, no, double contact against Marchano. What a rally. And there's going to be a challenge here. Block touch challenge. They're going to say the Marchano push hit the blockers. Yeah, I actually thought na he did. Na tip ng blockers. Eh. But let's see. You, you can't get a clue from the face of Marshana? No. <laughs> not yet. Don't not say yet. there because, you know, she's just on the, on the antenna waiting for you. Go so talk to her and come here. Go the last one. No need to be fast. Hi, okay? All right. The former Brazilian national coach, Jorge Sosa de Brito, giving some words to Janine Marshano. Marshano with two points. Has not scored here in the second set. And actually, the entire team has not scored here in the second set. They're down 3-0. Chargers, uh, this is their final game yeah. of the second All Filipino Conference. And they want to end on a, with a W on yeah. a high note. And in that first set, they won that first set. However, Pinahabul pa nila yung cream line. That's why yung momentum nas nasasayad ng cream line even with Akari winning that one. And it just shows na medyo may kaba na, may kabang factor na dito sa Akari because right now, hirap na hirap sila makapuntos. And this review is taking a while. Meantime, Manabat. Oh, they call her Mama D. Talking to some of the young players oh. of the team. Oh. It's tough to tell from this angle. Yeah. Could have been a touch from Panaga, but uh, if it's Tumama not... If Tumama Panaga yeah. after Tumama Sanet, it's not okay. definitive. But the yeah. officials say no touch. So, double contact on Marchado. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach De Brito. Four zero. 4-0 oh. to start the second set for the Cool Smashers. Oh! Agas with a miss received as we send it courtside to Kyla Castillo. Power, Gemma, power. This is what Coach Ty Bundit told Gemma Galanza earlier in the dugout as they shared a brief Kulitan moment. Of course, Gemma's known for her powerful offense, but she is a firm believer that the best offense is some pesky defense. They will, well, they're definitely going to be needing more of that in this second set. They will also have to be more composed and eradicate any giggle in their system in order to execute wiser plays. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now back to you, Eric and Rex. All right, thank you, Kyla. First point for the Chargers after that uh, missed tip by Galanza. Ragas. Wow. Off the block, back-to-back -back points Yes, and the Chargers. A good outing for Ragas because she will really need to step up her game because the one green line is the target of service. So, uh, in, that first, in their first point in the second set, she started with a, a good reception. Kaya that led to their first point. Ngayon, uh, with that attack, that gives their, them their second point. And there is Manabat. They're going to have nine points already. She's on the way to beat her 26 oh, yeah. point outing in her last game. So this is a three to nothing run for the Chargers. Not a good pass there coming from Galanza. Tots Carlos off a broken oh. play. Tots is one of those players. All you have to do is pop it up. It doesn't matter <laughs> if it's not in her comfort zone. She will knock it out of the park. Galanza, four points, three here in the second set. 
She has started to come alive. Good pass by Hazareno. Madrigal tips it. Negrito pops it up. Here comes Carlos on the other side. Manabat picking it up. Agas off speed. Negrito. Machenza back to Carlos. There's Marciano with coverage. Manabat once again. Oh. Uh, easily dug by Atienza. Valdez. Hazareno pops it up. Another long rally here. Back row. Marciano. Oh. Single lady <laughs> block by Pax Panaga. Oh, the single block for Panaga. And she, Michelle Cop, she went to all of her spiders. She went to Dindin, Agas. However, in that last time around, Panaga getting the most out of Marciano. Second block for Panaga in the game. Manabat. Negrito. They're going to go to Tots Carlos. Oh. Through the Raagas block. Got it. And so far, they hit up talaga yung Akari to score a point. And napapan siko si Michelle medyo hingal na kasi every serve ng kalaban hinahabol niya. So, may hirapan siya to set up those plays. Uh, not the best plays na mabibigay niya sa mga spikers niya. Another overpass. Yeah, either dikit or hinahabol niya yung mga receive. So, Akari can really score a point if si Michelle uh, just stays in her zone, chill lang, tapos bigay niya yung perfect set kay Dindin or Raaga. Timeout Chargers. Ayaw po, kahit ngayon lang daw po. Nasabi si Coach, ayaw niya. Kahit ngayon lang daw po. Well, it's a 9-3 advantage forcing Coach uh, Di Brito to call a timeout. They are down by six here in the second set after winning the opening set. Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, PBA, UAAP, and PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. What happened in the start of the opening set for the Chargers? And like what I, I was saying, uh, it's si Michelle Cobb to uh, set up her place. Uh, you know, she yung bola or masyadong dikit sa net. That's why hindi nila nakuha yung uh, yung best set out of that. Hazareno pops it up. Here comes Erica. Short. Oh. Yeah. They really are clearly frustrated. It shows in their faces right now. They're but, not in sync. But you mentioned the cause, but why is it happening? I mean, it's just no good reception yeah. or just... Are they relaxing after winning the opening set? Um, it started with their reception. Kanina pa, so tuloy-tuloy yung mga misreceives here yeah. for Akari. Eh? Yes, one again. And Raaga saving it. It's going to be a chance ball here for the Cool Smashers. Negrito. Oh. Pass! Panaga putting it away! Yeah. Because it, it, once you get a missed reception, either triple block yung sasalubong sa'yo for cream, um, by cream line or chance ball naman yung bibigyan nyo sa team line. So, just pick your poison. 6-0 run for the Cool Smashers. 11-3 is the lead. This is their biggest advantage at 8 points. Oh. Raagas is blocked. 7-0 oh. to nothing run for the Cool Smashers. The lead is now 9 points. Oh, and if we include pa natin yung last 5 points of Akari, that first set, and yung run na ginawa ng team line, sobrang laki ng advantage itong cream line and we just saw Faith Nispero still not yeah. playing. Raagas. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. Uh, eight to nothing run. Eight zero run. Eight zero run. Ten point lead. Technical timeout here in the second set. It's all cream line.
right now, the Chargers, they've only put up three attack points. Nothing else. And that's why they're down by 10. Eliza Valdez and the Cool Smasher in key time. They've been blocking, they've been attacking, and they've been serving aces as well. They're doing everything right here in set number two, Rex. And they're, yeah, they really are doing everything right. And Sakari naman, bumaba yung level of play nila compared to that first set. And as usual, they're gonna target. Oh, I thought they were gonna target Raagas, who hasn't been receiving uh, well in this uh, game. Second service error for Galanza, but that's the first error for the Cool Smashers in set number two. And finally, Fifi is back. And ang tagal na ng set na inikot. Ngayon hey. siya nakabalik. However, an error by Madrigal. Mapapabilis naman yung, yun yung masakit sa, sa middle blocker. Yung pagkapasok mo, service error naman uh -huh. sa side nyo. Mababawasan yung ikot mo. <laughs> Iikot ka agad eh. Back to a 10-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Oh. That serve is outside, so back to back to back. Service errors here in set number two. And medyo baliktad naman yung nangyayari compared to the first set. Ngayon, Akari naman yung nagahabol with a 10-point lead. So, let's see if they can do a cream line. Carlos? Oh. That's outside. Not get a challenge. Some sloppy volleyball in the last few minutes for both teams. Much better serve there for Manabat. Oh. Negrito set went uh, inside. Across the net already. Yeah, it's the side of uh, Akari. And it's a, so that ends a 3 nothing run for the Chargers off a service error by Manabat. Now it's back to eight points for the green line. For the Bull Smashers, Todd Sparlos. As exciting as the opening set was, uh, right now both teams failing to generate that kind of energy in the second set. Ragas oh. with a power push, another net touch on Negrito. <laughs> that was very fortunate for Akari because if he didn't get net touch, that was going to be an easy ball for Greenline. Not the perfect of, uh, place there. Eight serving 15, second set. Valdez oh. with a push. Marciano popping it up. Back row for Ragas. Off thoughts Carlos. Galanza. And a chance ball from Valdez. Marciano. Galanza picking it up. Here's Galanza. Oh. There's a block by Sharma. Wow. And Phoebe Sharma really feeling that one after the block. And trying to just bump her teammates up. Actually, oh, that was that was Cobb. Michelle Cobb. Wow. Cobb with two points. One attack and one block. Nice serve from Ragas. Go back to Valdez. <laughs> Cobb to Marciano. Block coverage by Hazareno. And that's not enough for Marciano sitting down on the floor. Unable to pop it up. I was watching Michelle Cobb block, and whenever she blocks, parang sobrang baba talaga, so parang hinahawakan na niya yung floor, and then she jumps. So, in-imagine ko lang kung grabe, kung gano'ng kapagod yung position na setter. Na you're not the tallest of the players, so kapag magbablock ka, sobrang uh, itatalon mo ng mataas. And then, kada miss reception, inahapul mo. And also, on top of that, you have to distribute and lead your team in a place. Great time. Risa Sato with her third point of the game as Eddie Soyud will check in for the first time today, replacing Janine Marciano. Soyud, three points. Yeah.
off the bench. Still no Faith Nesperos. We're trying to find out if she's sick. There's Kyla Castillo actually right now speaking with Faith. Soyud off speed picked up by Atienza. Negrito. The Lanza. Wow. Nice little tip. <laughs> Gemma with five, four coming in the second set. That was a smart play for Gemma. And actually, Dindin was right there already. Kaso nasungkit. And yun yung kailangan ng communication ng uh, front line and back line na kapag susungkit ka or hindi because may hirap. Oh! Nice play. Yeah. Fifi Sharma knocking it in. Yeah, Fifi has been playing really well. However, her contributions still aren't enough to keep Akari on top. Sharma with four points. That's her first point in the second set. Madrigal will sit down, Baliton is in. Now serving Fifi Sharma. Eight-point game. Ten serving 18. Second set. Negrito will go to Galanza. Oh, wow. Yes. Once Gemma gets that form, <laughs> sobro nakastretch na talaga yung uh, kasama yung shoulders in the back. Uh, sure point na talaga eh for Gemma. Now it's a nine-point lead for Creamline. When Akari was leading 10, parang kaya kaya ng uh, cream line. However, ngayon parang sobrang hirap ng hahabule ito Akari. Pang yep. Panaga on a running attack. Panaga with seven. Four of her seven points coming in the second set. Wow. One blocker, no problem there for Pang Panaga against Eddie Soyu. Back to a 10-point lead. Yeah. And Creamline is in sync right now. Everyone, everyone, single page lang yung instructions. Back row, Manabat. Oh. Lori Bernardo, by the way, is in the game for the first time for the Cool Smashers. Carlos, they pass to Galanza. Dug by her former teammate, Dan Pineda. Oh. Galanza, oh. this hits this time. Yeah, that was a miss hit. Actually, nilakasan na lang niya. I think she was gunning for the check ball. Just targeting the fingers of Balipon. However, Machado sailed too far off. So it's a nine-point game. A long way to go if you're Cobb and the Chargers. Well, this underhand pass to Carlos. Oh, back-to-back -back miss hits yeah. for the Cool Smashers. Another one, and I guess it's becoming a threat. Every time someone reaches 20, it's the other team that will make a run. 15 errors already. Wow. For the Cool Smashers. 15 errors already. And both sets. Oh! That's short. Meantime, that's just yeah. the ninth error yeah, for the Chargers in the entire match. Yeah, so it means to be a 15 points of Akari came from Green Line's mistakes. Yep, but that's stretching back to the yeah, opening no, set. Even in the first set. Yep. Soyud. Oh, finally. First point for Eli Soyud. Finally, they get a, a clean, strong attack. And after that point, they also get a full front line here. Baliton, Manabat, and Ragas in front. Soyud will be in the back row for the Chargers. They're down by eight. Negrito, the set. Galanza, single blocker. Nice dig from Cobb. Soyud, back row. De Jesus, who a jump set. Oh, Galanza, who punches that one through. Wow. And actually, Baliton and Ragas were there. However, Mashadong. Uh, Baliton was too far back. Hindi nakapasok yung arms niya. Kaya, sumut lang eh. Pumunta lang sa side na eh. Seven points for Galanza. Six scored here in the second set. 
Back to a nine-point cushion for the Cool Smashers. Oh. Raga, single blocker, got it. Baliton is now serving. And that means Sharma is back in, and she was a spark plug in that latter part of the first set. Let's see if makahabul sila ngayon. Power push by oh. Valdez. Sharma gets it across. Thoughts Carlos. Oh, easy point. Yeah. Kung nakita na Akari na nakatra si um, Thoughts Carlos going for that attack. Pati sila lahat na paatras. And when Thoughts gave up that drop ball, well, yeah, that, there, that was a huge donut ball for everyone. Rose Vargas checking in for the first time. Former Lady Tamarao. Nine point game, 23 serving 14. Second set. Manabat. Carlos. Ooh. One handed dig for Soyud. Come back to Soyud. Ooh. Great shot. Valdez passes. Oh, Carlos. Again, we talked about how Carlos, wow. you know, she's not choosy yeah. when it comes to sets. Yeah, that's the perfect description. Hindi talaga choosy si Thoughts Carlos. She can adjust kahit anong ibato mo dyan. And uh, actually, that set from Eliza was too close to the net. Good thing she has Thoughts Carlos on the other end. Nine points for Carlos and it is ten set points for the Cool Smashers. Valdez can put it away right here. Oh. She does! Oh, what a dominant second set for Greenlight. After losing by two points. Rise or that second set and yung uh, Akari, umaba talaga yung level of play nila and uh, they became erratic in that whole second set, and so it's going to be a challenge now because it's tied at 1 1.
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. One set each, and after a close opening set, the Cool Smashers just blew the yep. set wide open and winning in double digits against the Chargers. Yeah, that was a really dominant win. That was a really dominant second set win for Greenline. And they started really strong and they ended really strong as well. And on the side of Akari Raman, they really had problems with their reception all throughout the set. Uh, sabi ko, hingal na hingal na si Michelle Cup because of those receptions. And so it's now going to be a challenge here for Akari because the momentum is clearly on the side of uh, Beamline. Even at the end of that first set, even with even with Akari winning that first set, the Beamline has been on the side of uh, uh, the momentum has been on the side of Beamline, and a huge dominant uh, performance here, attacking 13 to six. Blocking 5 to 1 and aces 1 to 0. So, in all of those departments, it was all um, green line leading. The biggest lead for the Cool Smashers 11 yeah. points. And in the second set, the Chargers never led. Yeah. And if you're a Kari, you just really need to uh, remember that first set how you started your confidence. Again, siguro, you know, when they started the game, in isip nila, ito na last game natin, kailangan all out. However, in that second set, nung nabuhay itong cream line, bigla na lang silang tumigil. So, right now, they really need a, a good start in reception and in setting as well. Meantime, we were talking about um, Faith Nisperos yeah. and why she's not in. Well, finally, uh, Kyla Castillo yeah. gave us the information, right? Yeah, we were uh, looking for her all the, all throughout the game. However, Kyla reported na uh, may iniingatan na injury ngayon si Faith Nisperos, a back strain. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's really hard to be mobile when you have uh, an injury, uh, especially the public that's back strain. Ta. And as much as, I'm sure, as much as you like to perform for the fans, yeah. it doesn't make any sense to aggravate the injury yeah. when you're not even going to make it to the semifinals yeah, and you're playing in your last game. Uh, technically, it's a non-bearing game yeah. because they're out of contention in the semis. But Shempre, she's going to be very eager to face Creamline because this is the only time in this conference you're going to face Creamline. And for sure, maraming matututunan yun si Faith Nesperos on uh, how they can face Creamline next next time they face each other again. Uh, in the meantime, it's another good start here for the yeah. Cool Smashers. That's Boss Carlos and Galanza with the first two points of the Cool Smashers here in set number three. Yeah, very, uh, very chill and composed. Creamline is still uh, just shows na parang they're just waiting for the championship game. <laughs> They're undefeated so far. They've only dropped yeah. Five, six, 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 six sets. sets. Six sets. Including the first set here. Yep. Oh, Easy block there by Tots Carlos against Raagas Manabat. That's going to be tough to block, but oh. nevertheless, Cool Smasher successful in that sequence. At the ends up back to Carlos. Off wow. speed. Got it. <laughs> I was... I was kind of expecting this game. Uh, maraming power hits by Hawks Carlos. However, yung mga cut shots and drop balls niya yung so far po amatay dito sa akin. Let's go to Kyla Castillo. In any game, energy is what's gonna set the tone. It's gonna dictate body language and the will to win. Well, good thing the Akagi Chargers has Fifi Sharma, who according to her teammates, is the personification of good, good energy. In this third set, it is Fifi's energy that's gonna be instrumental in shifting the momentum onto their side. Let's see if she can do just that. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now back to you, Eric and Rex. All right. Thank you for the report, the Kyla. Four points for Sharma. She yeah. put in a lot of energy in the opening Ooh. set as there's a block on Valdez, but only scored one point in the second set. P.P. Sharma did. Yeah, I've been saying uh, Akari overall is not uh, playing really well, but uh, P.P. Sharma has been uh, very effective uh, 
playing her role uh, so far. She had a couple of blocks and again in that first set she was the spark plug. Na inaantay lang na Akari to finish that one, that first set. And off the block, Dots Carlos stops that little run, little two-point run by the Chargers. And a kandang bawi for Dots Carlos because prior to that one, she, she committed an error. But knowing Greenline, even after an error, kaya kaya bumawi yan. Manabat. Back row for Galanza off speed. Oh, nice wow. dive there for Hazarena to keep it alive. Oh. And off the block, Raagas will score for the Chargers. What a save by Hazareno. It was a dolphin dive. Meantime, Raagas, that's her seventh point. She's the second leading scorer after Manabat with nine points. Ooh, Valdez now, yeah. bad pass, and Valdez unable to get it across the net. Yeah, that was a bad pass and a bad set, leading to an error for Greenline. A little two-point run once again for the Chargers, and we're tied at four. Oh. Even before it crossed the net, we knew that was going to go yeah. outside, right? That was too strong. For Din Din. Michelle Cobb. Starting setter for the Chargers. Ooh, wow. Nice serve. Manabat. Cross court. Picked up by Galanza. Overpass. Oh. And Sharma <laughs> puts it away. Sharma really pumping her teammates. Yeah. Na yung teammates niya because there are really some athletes who are quiet. Yun yung game nila eh. Tahimik lang, ganun sila mag-focus. But the communication, it always has to be present. And ito naman si Fifi Sharma. She's a type of player who hypes her teammates up. Valdez against two blockers. Goes outside, side out yeah. for the Cole Smackers. So far, the set. Na, this is the only set that they get the start. Na, na start of set. Well, this with five points. Good serve. Bad pass there from Agas. So you oh. cross court shot. Wow. Galanza. Yes, <laughs> down the line against Manabat. What a beautiful sequence here for Greenline. What a dig by Atienza and what a set by Negrito. Perfect setup to that down the line hit by Galanza. And let's go back to that spotlight Ooh. as Valdez serves it into the net. We mentioned earlier uh, it was a one sided affair with Manabat yeah. putting up a lot more points than Galanza. Again, guess what? Now we're tied at nine. Both players, nine points, nine points each. Galanza and Manabat. Yeah, a really strong start for Din Din. However, ngayon nababasa na siya ng cream line. Nata timing na nila yung blocks nila against Din Din. Sharma with five points. There's a oh. block against Galanza. Diving dig for De Jesus. And thoughts Carlos <laughs> once again. Now, Carlos now in double digits, 13 points. Wow, all throughout the game. Nahihirapan lang sila sa mga off speed hits nitong ni Thoughts Carlos. And Tots has been very unpredictable in all of her attacks. Just toying around with her opponents. Two-point lead for the Cool Smashers. 8-6. Oh. Underhand pass by Cobb. Soyud. Valdez passes. Oh, and a yeah. tough by Tans <laughs> Panaga. A smart play. A veteran play there for Panaga. She doesn't need to hit it as strong. She knew that there was no blockers in front of her. So she just swiped it. Derecho, no one was close enough to get that one. Managa with eight, third leading scorer for the oh. Cool Smashers. That is a net touch on Galanza. Yeah, net touch by Galanza, but either way, uh, Akari was going to get that point. It's a much closer affair. 
here in set number three. As you see, the net not here by Gemma. Forearm at the top of the net. No double-digit lead yet. Biggest lead was three points for the Cool Smashers. But the Chargers have yet to take the lead here. The Lanza Ooh. triple block. <laughs> no problem. Wow. And actually, Akari, yung blockers na Akari read that one really well. Kasi walang sumabay sa quick eh. However, those three blockers, tumodo yung talon kay Gemma Galanza. As we're seeing Sir Jonathan Nang of Rebisco. Three-point lead. Oh, nice serve. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Negrito, the back set. Wow. And Tots Carlos. Tots, para kung piso piso lang dito siyo. Para so easy yeah. for Tots Carlos, and this is a difficult front line if you're Akari facing a cream line, because you have Tots Carlos on one end and Gemma Galanza on the other. Tapos si Panaga, he can't count Panaga out. And then there's a back row attack <laughs> from Eliza Valdez. So, and the floor defense, the mga nasalikod ng. Dream line, wow, what a lineup. That is just outside. Valdez let it go, and she got scared for a minute there because she thought it was going to go in. Medyo nagtaka din ako eh. Bakit nangihinayang si Eliza? A challenge here, oh, ball there. in, ball out for sure. Siguro dahil sa reaction. Sa reaction ni Valdez though. <laughs> but it looked out, right? Yeah, it looked like it went out. Nevertheless, a challenge here, the first one in set number three. We're, at one. We're tied at one set each. Two players now in double digits, by the way, for the Cool Smashers. Carlos with 14, Galanza with 10. Come front, talk to them, spike and go, okay? So unsuccessful challenge, clearly out. So it's 12-7, Cool Smashers, set number three. Oh. Bad pass. Manabat, popped up by Negrito. Atienza will set it to Galanza, clip the net cord. Hazareno with an overhead pass. Nice dig coming from Negrito. Atienza back to Galanza, the tip sent back by Baliton. Galanza again, Soyud with a block. Another try, oh, wow. Galanza finally on the third attempt, puts it away. And it's a six point cushion here for Galanza and company as we get to the third set technical timeout. Welcome back to the PVL 2023 All Filipino Conference. You're still watching the matchup between the Creamline Cool Smashers and Akagi Chargers. Now let's pivot back to the Creamline Cool Smashers and talk about Gemma's Day. 
Gemma Galanza had a birthday blowout celebration with big 16 points in their last game and time well spent with her teammates. Well, that cake looks, looks absolutely delectable, right, Eric and Rex? Let me turn it back to you guys. All right, thank you. Kyla? Yeah, I could, I could use some cake right now. And on 6.30, and we're just in set number three. We're tied at one set each. Matchup between the league-leading Cool Smashers against the Chargers uh, looking to bounce back after losing to the Angels in their last game. And we started this third set, Dikete. Uh, uh, it's been a trade of points coming from both teams, but so far, lumayo yung points ng Cream 9 because there has been a trend na uh, it will start with a misreception of Creamline, a free ball to uh, misreception of Akari, a free ball to Creamline, and then may mangyaring rally, and then most of the time it will it's Creamline getting the most out of that one. Service error for Negrito makes it a five-point game. Soyud with one point. Oh, now a whoa. scored in <laughs> set number two. Manabat. Off the oh. block. And there's no pancake save for Ella de Jesus. Yeah. Good effort though from Ella. Because Panaga wasn't aware that the ball was gonna drop on her side. Manabat now in double digits with 10. Her offense has slowed down no, no. since the second set. Uh, Soyut serves it outside. In uh, Manabat's first set, she was basically unstoppable in that one. She had seven points in the opening set. Only two points in set number two. And then one point so far here in the third set. We're halfway through. Marciano pops it up. Oh. And Paliton picks up her first point of the game. Yeah, finally, and the Dreamline really wasn't expecting a Paliton hit. Uh, so far, Mejo Deepa and Nabi begin Mashaduni Michelle. Let's don't see Paliton. Negrito back to Carlos. Oh, wow. And again, we talked about how easy it's wow. been to touch Carlos. Yeah. And she's very versatile in her uh, attacks. She can uh, score any way she wants. Papa drop ball, gut shot, strong hit. She's on a league of her own. Thoughts, Carlos. Good serve. Bad pass there for the Agas. Oh. And the tip is short for Sharma. And the lead is now at its. Back to its biggest. Six points. Yeah. And Dindin is, is getting really frustrated. Uh, we're going to look at Akari. It's all young players. And then we have Dindin, the sole veteran. And Siguro si Marciano, we can consider a veteran as well. However, she's really trying to push her teammates na to get proper passes to. Para mabuhayan din yeah. yung scoring nila. Eh, because. Uh, Dindin is tumatahimik siya in the start of second set and this third set. Valdez, the tip, picked up by Cobb. Azareno sets it for oh. Agas. Valdez overpass and outside. I am for Eliza because she was ready for that drop ball. However, masyadong maaga siya sumugod. Negrito to Valdez, block, and that's going to be a violation again. The Cool Smashers, good block in there from Sharma and Manaban. Oh, that was Michelle Cobb again. She has two blocks so far against Eliza. It's one of those rare times na. <laughs> See Michelle na ka block niya and Alisa pa yung na block niya. That's outside, but there will be a challenge.
If this is an unsuccessful challenge, it's going to be a three-point run for the Chargers. Two players in double digits already for the Bull Smashers. 15 for Carlos and 11 for Galanza. While only Manama in double digits with 10 for the Chargers. Bull Smashers looking to maintain a perfect record and go 10-0 today. Now that's not even close. Yeah. So no block touch, unsuccessful challenge for the Cool Smashers. And it's a three-point run for the Chargers. From down six, they are within three points. Against Coach Meneses and the Cool Smashers. Oh, Sato. There's coverage by Negrito, and wow. the hit is wide for Valdez. Four-point run for the Chargers. Again, Sharma doing the most out of her role. Now it's just a two-point lead for Greenline. Execute lang na maganda. Right, kanina, pwede. Well, download Filipinas Live and get free seven day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, PBA, UAAP, and PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Six point lead down to two. For the cool smashers as the chargers on your screens are on the comeback trail here in set number three. Manabat with 10, a top scorer for the chargers right now. But only three points in the last two sets after Ooh. scoring seven in the opening set. Battle at the net, won by the chargers. Here comes Valdez. Hazareno pops it up. Sharma. Oh, wow. A chance with a dig. Carlos against two blockers, it's outside. Back-to-back -back miss hits for Fox Carlos, and it's now a five-point run for wow. the Chargers. Valdez, the drop. Pancake saved by Hazareno. Baaga sends it over. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Sato oh, stops the bleeding and the five-point run. A good setup there for Lisa Sato. Yung Akadi Chargers patras pa lang sila from that rally. And they were met by that short running attack from Lisa. Sato with three points. Carlos with 15. Looking for her first ace today. Wow. Cobb sets it. Ragas through the double block. Carlos will set it to Valdez. Yes! A much needed point there for Greenline. Kailangan nila lumayo kasi Akari has been inching closer. Valdez with six points. Back to a three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Timeout, Chargers. Jump. Really? Nothing to lose, come on. Huh? Remember, it's just a kick, yeah? Just a kick, yeah? Okay? You're blocking inside, though. Good position, Jeff. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Huh? 
Sharma and the Chargers were as close as one point after being down by six. But two smashers on a two-point run. Okay, some separation with a three-point lead here in set number three. Great receive by Hazareno. Grito pops it up. Valdez. Oh, triple wow. And you have to give it to Fifi Sharma. She never really gave up. Even when being down that many points. If Akari wins this game, I'm going to give the player of the game honors to her, to Fifi Sharma for sure. Five blocks, three attacks, eight total points wow. for Sharma as Valdez gets a side out. Five blocks and we're not done yet. It's only the third set. Valdez now with seven. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Turned out to be a nice serve. And it initially looked like it was going to come short of the net. First ace for Valdez. Actually, I believe that she was really targeting that that zone. However, with that help of the net, mas napaganda pa. <laughs> Eight points now for Valdez, tying oh. her up in the last game. Almost another ace again. Marciano backs up for that bad pass from Valdez. Chance ball here for the Chargers. Hazareno to Cobb. Oh, Ooh. miscommunication there. Marciano, underhand pass. Galanza. Oh. There's a dig by Hazareno. Manabat. With the up, and another chance ball here for the Cool Smashers. Galanza oh. gets two blockers, so <laughs> went through Cobb to score the point. This is what happens habang pinapatagal niya rally against Streamline. Streamline really has lots of weapons that are ready to attack you at any given point in time. And if you're going to give them lots of chance balls, lots of easy balls, you're going to regret it. 12 points for Galanza, Valdez with eight. Already with one ace. Oh, That's wow. ace number two. And the same serving sequence yeah. for Eliza Valdez. What an outing here on the service line for Eliza Valdez. Two of her first serves, Dubikit net, and it almost uh, gave an ace. Actually, one had one uh, ended up as an ace in her third uh, service here. Another ace, so it's two of three. Bang Pineda is in the game. Oh, make that two of four. Five point game in favor of the Cool Smashers. Biggest lead was six. Sharma with eight points, four coming here in set number three. And again, five blocks, three here in the third Whoa. set. Ooh, that was a little short for Sato. Manabat. Galanza. Oh. That's way outside. Yeah. Masyado na umiwas ni Gemma Galanza. She saw the double block of Baliton already. Four point game. No aces yet for the entire Chargers. Meanwhile, Cool Smashers with five already. Galanza, ooh, off the block, <laughs> and that's the 13th point of Gemma Galanza. And what a setup also from Elnick. Nineteen serving twenty-three. Third set. We're tied at one set all. 
Mafe Galanza Ooh. passes, no good. Yeah, uh, Mafe Galanza tried to do a one-handed set. However, Masyadong Tumamba going to the left was too far for Panaga to reach. So a little two-point run for the Chargers. Bang Pineda off the bench here in set number three. Cobb with a serve. Galanza to Gemma. Hazareno to Soyu. Block, but it's outside. So a point for Soyu. That's her second. A little three-point run for the Chargers. Timeout for Coach Meneses. We'll listen in. Oh, no. All right. So we heard from second referee. Enjoy the evening. There are no more timeouts remaining for the Cool Smashers. So they were recalled back to the floor. Good thing there's no yellow card for... Oh, no. Right? Because so, in basketball, yeah, that's basketball. an automatic technical. Delay, delay in. Delay of... I oh, know. So are they going to be given a yellow? Yes. There's a yellow card. Wait a minute. The uh, scoreboard says... 21. There's one timeout per team. Oh. Serve. No whistle yet for Cobb. There's Coach Meneses on your screens. They led by as many as six here in set number three. But now they're only down by, or they're only up by two. First referee, Herbert Matematico. And second referee, Joy De Imus. Cobb with three points. One of those points is a block. Oh, there is Galanza. Back to back points and same target for Gemma Galanza, just swiping it off the blocker's hands. And Galanza with 14. And it's three set points for the Cool Smashers. And Dindin has been quiet in this game, no? Very. He only had only one, two one point, point. One point. This set. Oh, make that two there points. It is. Right on cue. 11 points for Manabat. Yeah. Two points here. Two of the 11 here in set number three. Yeah, she, had, she has two points here in the third set, two points in the second set, and seven in the first. That's right. So it was a dom So it was a dominant uh, out outing for Manabat in that first set. So. Ang, 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 yung performance niya is really a factor. If she plays well, um, malaki yung chance na they will, get a, they will get a win in that set. Two set points lost by the Cool Smashers. The last one coming from a miss hit. But Carlos, they still have one set point. But an ace, the first one here for the Chargers, mm -hmm. will tie the game at 24. Oh, great serve. Tots Carlos here. Oh, Ooh, underhand pass. Chance ball for oh. Chargers. Manabat. Dug by Valdez. Here comes Carlos. Manabat passes. Battle at the net. Oh. Carlos once again against two blockers. There's nice dig from Soyud. Manabat. De Jesus with a pass. It's over. Wow. De Jesus picks it up. Here comes Galanza. <laughs> Valdez with coverage. Carlos, oh, this fires once again. Back-to-back -back miss hits by Carlos. There's going to be a block touch challenge. I don't know yeah. if this will be enough. Yeah, Eliza is celebrating. Negrito is confident that there was. Yeah, there was a block touch. All right, if, if successful, it's over. Yeah. Cool Smashers will win the third set. If unsuccessful, we're going to be tied at 24. Two set points already saved by the Chargers. There's one more set point. And that's the point that's in contention in this challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good challenge. So there is a block touch. And the third set is over. Coach Meneses and the Cool Smashers win by two after winning by 11 in the second set. And they lead two sets to one.
against the Chargers. New streaming, uh, streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. There's the tally currently after two sets. Two sets to one. In favor of the pool smashers. And after winning by 11 in the second set, it was a much closer affair here. Agas, Manabat, Sharma, Kav. And even a point from Palitot. Meanwhile, Galanza really picked up the pace along with Carlos and Valdez. They really created the puzzles offensively for the cool smashers. Carlos with 16 7 coming in the third set. Valdez, meanwhile, 9. And 5 of those 9 coming in set number 3. And there is Valdez attacking. And if we're going to look at the statistics, it's Dreamline more than doubling the attacks of Akari, 19 to 8. However, it's the blockings of uh, Vivi Sharma all alone, 3 to 0 against Dreamline. And the services of Dreamline, Lamang, sila 2 to 0 against Akari. But we're going to look at the opponent errors right now. 4 against 12, even with 12, upon, even with uh, 12 errors here for Greenline, they still managed to get the win. So it's gonna be really difficult for Greenline if they're gonna be facing a uh, much steadier team. Even, I mean, kapag prone errors sila and they're gonna face a steady team, it's gonna be a difficult game for them. Smashers hoping for just one final set here. Yeah. And for Akari naman, they can really win this set if they just play like what they did in the first set. If they just continue, if they just uh, play smart again, if they fix their receptions, and if Gumana ulit si Dindin Manabat, they can really for sure uh, be at par against Creamline. Meantime, it's Sharma. Along with Cobb, Marciano, Manabat, Ragas, and Baliton to start things off for the Chargers here in set number four. While Negrito, along with Pons, Ella de Jesus, Gemma Galanza, Tots Carlos, and Pangs Panaga starting it off for the Cool Smashers. Cobb. To Marciano with a tip. There. Pancake saved by Gemma Galanza. Tots Carlos. Baliton tips oh. it and will score. A good start for Ahari. This is what they need. A good reception. It started with a good receive that led to a good play for Ahari. Second point for Rosel Baliton. Shano only with two points. She has not scored outside of the opening set. Carlos. Oh, wow. On the line. That was a long hit for Tots Carlos. No one was there for Akari. Carlos now with 17. 
Carlos is coming off a 16-point performance in that win against the crossovers. Manabat. Kienza passes. Negrito back to Pons. Cobb chasing it down. Chance ball for the Cool Smashers. Ooh. Hazareno <laughs> saves it, but it goes outside. Out of control. Oh. Point for Carlos. And I, I heard the Dreamline bench, they were shouting after they got the block touch against Dindin Manapat because from that point on, they were confident that they were going to get the point. Once na ma block touch nyo lang si Dindin, it's going to be an easier job for them. Hazareno passes, they go back to Manabat. Oh. Another one. Carlos blocked by Manabat, overpassed. <laughs> Carlos with a dig. Yeah. There's Rosel Baliton with her third point of the game. I thought it was a good game. However, that was Baliton being the last one to touch the ball. Now it's two points for her in this uh, fourth set. Negrito with the underhand pass. Pons cross court. Ooh, wow. by Baliton. <laughs> and there's Marciano with the dig. Ragas with a power <laughs> push. And the Chargers on top by one as we check in with Kyla Castillo. Eric and Rex, season after season, hindi naman na bago sa Dreamline ang makatikim ng panalo. The feeling of joy and the thrill of the game remains ever present. With that, I ask Tots, Tots Carlos, what makes this conference unique? To which she answered, and I quote, May mas ilalalim pa pala yung samahan namin? Tots added that with the departure of Gia and Sedi, they needed to be more. More present for one another and more eager to step up whenever the others thought at 100. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in Mainview, Multicam, and Fanstream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now back to you, Eric and Rex. All right, thank you, Kyla. Yep, everybody really is stepping up. Yeah. Without Morado uh, de Guzman and said Domingo. What a nice set there from Negrito to Pangs Panaga. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, Panaga is really not choosy with her sets. Yeah. And she can really adjust and make the most out of any nice. ball given to her. Ponce will knock it in. Six points for Ponce. That is her first point, by the way, since scoring five in the opening yeah. set. And this is a, still a young Akali squad, but you've seen their improvement all throughout the all throughout the conference, and they're facing a well-established contending and defending Greenline squad, and even even without Gia Morado and. Uh, said Domingo, the system is still there. Even without their core players, yeah. there's still a system. Left. Pons with back-to-back -back points and gives Cool Smashers a two-point yeah. cushion. Panaga and Valdez with nine each. So if they both score one more point, they're gonna be, there will be four players in double digits for the Cool Smashers wow. today. Wow. Because Galanza and Tots Carlos are already in double digits since the second set. <laughs> Pons is blocked. Wow. That's Sharma again. Yeah, yeah, Sharma. Sharma, again. Sharma that six. He's the only one who's been consistent all throughout the four sets for Akan. All right, so that's just going to be her fifth, fifth block. They, they shaved off one of the blocks in okay. set number three. So that's just her fifth. Carlos off the block. Negrito to the middle. They go to Sato. That's popped up by Manabat. Maria, uh, Marciano sends it over underhand. Sato again. Cobb. They go to Ragas. One point game. Chance to make it a two point lead. There it is. Touch Carlos. Now it's 19. I'm looking at the players of Akari and. Even uh, Fifi Sharma showing frustrations right now because lots of easy balls dapat lang na dumarating sa kanila na, na out of system pa. 
Back to a two-point lead for Carlos and the Cool Smashers. Hazareno with a great pass. Sharma blocked by Pons. Clagas through the double oh. block. Oh, but no. No. No touch. That, no, that was outside also. What distribution also from Cal Negrito yeah. throughout the game. Almost four players in double digits. So... Kung sino ang makakalaban ng cream line, sobrang sakit sa ulo kasi hindi mo alam kung sino yung babantayan mo eh. Manabat. Oh. Yes! Manabat, now with 12, that is her first point in set number 4. Yeah, we're gonna need a very similar outing compared to the first one. She's gonna need an outing like the first set because if she's gonna perform like second and third set where she only scored two points. Mahirapan talaga, Akari. Madrigal is back in the game replacing Sharma. Madrigal with three points all scored in the first, first set. set. Yeah, yeah. She I remember she started that first set That's with right. Din, Din, Man Din, Din uh, Manabat. They were blocking really well. And then after that it was all baby Sharma na. Di na sila yeah. nakablock ulit. Sato with an attack fault. And it's back to a one-point game. The biggest lead was three points for the Cool Smashers. Okay. Jesus with a nice pass. Here comes Carlos from the back wow. row. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody even made a move to pick it up. Wow. The Chargers. I believe si Tots kaya kaya niya pa lakasan yung palo nyan. But game nilalagay pino position nalang ni Tots and just shows yung how smart and. How high of uh, IQ Tots Carlos has. Nice pass again by Hazareno. They go to Marciano. Oh. Yes! Finally. Former Red Lioness. Yeah. With her third point of the game. Also, Marciano pretty quiet after scoring two points in the opening set. This is her first point after that. Wow, and I remember watching Marciano in her glory day. She yeah. she naka tw minimum ng 20, 20 points. Siguro, eh. right. One point game, chance to tie on the serve by Madrigal. Bobby Bernardo, oh. by the way, is in the game. There is a block. <laughs> is that Baliton? Yeah, that was Baliton. Fourth point for Baliton. Three of the four points here in set number four. Yeah, saradong sarado yung cross court for Gemma Galanza. Good block. And the lead is gone. For the Cool Smashers, we're tied at eight here in set number four. Ooh. That's one step forward, one step back yeah. for the Chargers as they go back down by one on service error by Madrigal. Bernardo played in the third set of that four set win against the crossovers, didn't score. Ooh, good serve. Cobb with a pass. Easy over for Marciano. Negrito, they go oh. to Panaga, and Panaga will now be in double digits. That's 10, so three players in double digits Rabbit. for the Cool Smashers. One set up for Cal Negrito. That was a perfect set. Baliton was too late for that one. A little two-point run for the Cool Smashers. 10-8. Marciano, blocked by Panaga. Cobb. Go to Manabat, back row. Popped up by Carlos. Galanza. Oh. Yes. <laughs> A very smart Kyle Negrito. It was Panaga scoring before that one. Kaya binantay na siya. So right now, it's Gemma Galanza going down the line. 15 points for Galanza. Her eighth straight game in double digits. Now a three-point run for the Cool Smashers. Marciano, picked up by Bernardo. Ooh, one, two play for Negrito. And it's gonna be a <laughs> double contact violation called against Marciano. So this is a four point run for the Cool Smashers now. Yeah, and a beautiful performance here all throughout uh, Cal Negrito, really distributing the ball well. And we haven't seen mga out of system plays of Green Line, no? Because just shows you kung gano yung katiba yung chemistry nila as a team, how much they gel together. 
That's outside for Manabat. Third error for Manabat, and it's a five point run for the Cool Smashers here in set number four. You know, four. Now we're not going to see Jump. Boost your watch list this November with Signal's Quick Boost. Enjoy more channels with no extra fees. Just load your prepaid box with loads 300 to 600 or pay your postpaid bill. All right, let's revisit the spotlight. Uh, Galanza and Manabat. And in the first set, it was Manabat leading the way, yeah. but Galanza just picking up uh, her offense. Late in the first set, and she's never looked back. Yeah, the, uh, Dindin Manabat really started uh, the game really well. Uh, seven points in the first set. However, the the fall of Dindin Manabat became the rise of Gemma Galanza. After her seven-point outing, it was all Gemma Galanza all throughout. And akala natin, it was going to be a quiet game for Gemma, but no. Not the case. Yeah, and also, Tons Carlos coming off the boot. <laughs> Sorry, coming off the bench. Right. And just to give you perspective, Galanza only one point in the opening set. Mm -hmm. Manabat with seven. Yeah. And then it just turned around after that. Yeah. And I received a text from a good friend of mine, Miguel de Guzman. And pinapagalida niya ako because sabi niya, de Guzman na si Gia Rex. <laughs> so my apologies, uh, Miguel, <laughs> that I'm going Gia Morado. <laughs> sorry, sorry. My, last day. Lagot ka kay Miguel. Here's Galanza, popped up by Hazareno. Back row for Manabat. Good rally. Go oh! Carlos. <laughs> that was too fancy that time. Yeah, Kinula that time ng power from Tots Carlos. A little too short that time around. Carlos now with 20. Galanza with 15. And Panaga, we mentioned, already with 10. Pons, not a good pass. Galanza, oh. cut shot, picked up by Manabat. Manabat. Pancake saved by Carlos. Here's Galanza again, second attempt. There is... Net touch. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it, Back row. it was set by De Jesus. It was a jump set by De Jesus. Yeah. And you can't hit it above the net if it was set by a libero. So a uh, call by Jody Evans, our second referee. That's what they're yeah. Jody Eve was again saying uh, Libero in the attack line, the jump set. Uh -huh. So this will be for sure an unsuccessful challenge already. I was asking Joy Diemu, second referee, and Libero, you're not allowed to set in front of the attack line. So that's replay the point. All right, she did not step on the attack line. So that's a successful challenge 
for Cool Smashers. Nine, so Nine serving 13. Back row for Thoughts Carlos. Whoa. Nice cut shot. Marciano with a push. Jesus passes. Ooh. And there's wow. Panaga on a zero tempo play. Panaga's very efficient. Uh, she doesn't get a lot. She will figure out a way how to score in that one. Three of her 11 points, Panaga, coming in the fourth set. There's a serve, nice serve from Negrito. Running Ooh. attack for Baliton is good. Yeah, no blockers were present there. Yeah, it was an easy point for Baliton. Five points for Rosel Baliton. Uh, four coming here in set number four. Oh, a service error for Marciano brings the lead back up to its biggest for the Cool Smashers with five points. Again, we're seeing still a very quiet Din Din Mana, but she's in the front line, so uh, they should uh, take advantage of that. There's Manabat right on cue. Yeah. Yeah. Manabat now with 13. Sharma returns, replacing Madrigal. And this is what Green Line is known for. No? Um, they're they're known to, uh, on uh, parang they can stop the star players of the opposing teams. Uh, like what I said earlier in the pregame, uh, Ea Laure dominated in all of her games. However, against Green Line, she only scored nine points in four sets. So I guess ito yung plano nila against Dindin Manabat. Dindin Manabat had 26 in her last game. However, ngayon medyo kalahati pa lang yung uh, nabibigay na ito ni Dindin. Meantime, Raagas with her first block. Raagas now with 10 points. Second player in double digits. Denying Pons on the attack. Pons will try again. Oh. Connects and scores this time. Pons with 8. Yeah, miscommunication there from Marciano and Baliton. Looked like Marciano was ready to get that one. And there was a clash there with Baliton, leading to a no-show there. Back to a four-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Good pass by Marciano. Here comes Ragas. Gemma Galanza with coverage in the back row. Pons oh. hits the antenna. Another error here for Green Line. So Manabat in the back row. 13 points all from attacks, Ooh. by the way, for Manabat, but she serves it into the net. Third service fall for Manabat. Carlos with 20, 19 attacks and one block. Cobb to Ragas. Block, good coverage by Marciano, <laughs> but Bernardo gets her first point of the game. That's a really hard thing to do if you're any other player. Very young, at 21. Manabat will sit down. Soyud is in. Also seeing action for the first time, Jaja Maraginot replacing Michelle Cobb. But even at six flat, Bernard is a very lanky and long player. Yep. Nakita ko, tinataas na niya kamay niya. <laughs> Above the net na agad eh. Back to the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at five points. Maraginot sets it oh. up for Soyud. There's a dig by Atienza. Here comes Pons against two blockers. That's short second attack point for Pons. Medyo 
Kilaw pa tong si uh, Bernardo because I was watching her blocking. She started jumping in the middle. Dapat mag sidestep or side cross ka muna para makatabi sa wing blockers mo. Good pass by Pons. One to play. Easily read by Marciano. Marciano, that's just her fourth point. Two in the opening set and two here in set number four. Wow. Did not score in sets two and three. And because someone has to fill up the role of uh, being the go-to go to girl here in uh, for Akari. That's Marciano. Pons. Oh, Ooh. she has struggled here in set number three. Another block against Pons, wow. this time by Sharma. And now officially, six <laughs> blocks for Sharma. And after that block, Sharma was pointing. Yep. I'm not sure if that's Pons or the court, making them realize that that was a block point. That was my sixth block point. They take cross, really cross. The guys take two guys there. Oh, energy, ah, go, 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 Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 live in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. For Akari, kaya kaya pa to. Marciano has been a step up in this uh, fourth set. From down five points, the Chargers are within two. There's a pass by Gemma Galanza. Pons on the other side. There's oh, a net touch. Yeah, net touch. That's going to be on the Chargers. They will challenge it. Walang umaamin. Hindi daw si Fifi. Hindi rin daw si Marciano. Ang sabi ng coaching staff, si Pons. Oh, baka yung... Baka nga si Pons yung nag-net. I will find out here. If this is successful, then it's going to be a point for the Chargers, and uh, it will be just a one-point deficit against them. They are down two sets to one, yeah. playing in their final game of the second All-Filipino Conference. Yeah, because after the whistle of the referee, Pon celebrated again. Eh? She was really happy na, uh it was Akari uh, giving the net error according to the referee. So let's see. Hindi daw si Fifi, hindi rin daw si Marciano. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's Pons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a fired up Coach <laughs> Debrito. Why not? It's uh, down to a one-point deficit. And only a one-point lead for Pons and the cool smashers. After they led by as many as five, chance to tie now for Ragas on the serve. Good pass by Atienza. Back row with Tots Carlos. Blocked. Great defense at the net here in set number four for the Chargers. Pons tips it. Back row for Ragas. Carlos with a dig. Pons again. Blocked again. To the middle. Bernardo <laughs> with a tip. Soyud passes. There's Marciano hitting it across. Pons from the middle against three blockers. Maraginot to Soyun oh, with a wow. push. Excellent wow. play by Eli Soyun for her third point. What a smart play for Eli Soyun. We've seen drop balls na malalapit and there's a drop ball sa likod. Kaila Atienza was running forward and the <laughs> ball was going behind her. Five-point run for Agas and the Chargers were tied at 18. What a run here for Akari. Another good serve. Pons really struggling with a block of the Chargers. Soyud popped up by Negrito. Here's Tots Carlos. Ooh. Through the block of Sharma. Got it. It doesn't matter if Tots Carlos is in the back line. It feels like a front line attack. 
21 for Tots Carlos. Once with eight. Could serve. Soyud. Carlos with a pass. Here's Galanza. Ooh, Hazareno with yeah. a dig. What a dig. Marciano, cross Ooh. court. <laughs> yes. 19 all. And they've been relying heavily on Marciano. And what a dig by Hazareno. Rabion. Marciano with five. Three coming here in set number four. And Coach De Brito once again is psyched after that great defense to offense display of the Chargers. Galanza against two blockers, oh. that's outside. Oh. And saying block touch. And the first referee oh. agrees, Herbert Matematico, yes, gives the point to the Bull Smashers. Yeah. And again, the Chargers <laughs> will challenge. Yeah, Baliton says it wasn't her, and he saw it also saying it wasn't her. So. But both Galanza and Negrito saying there was a block Yeah, the oh, they look really confident in that one. And the score is 19 all, so every error is really critical. Yep. And crucial. Chargers, this is their final game. Of the second All Filipino Conference. Ayo pa bumitaw gusto pa nila ng one more set against Creamline. They are looking for a bounce back win after losing to the Angels in their last game. Meanwhile, they're going up against the only undefeated team in the conference, Eliza Valdez and the Cool Smashers. Uh, right now, the Chargers are five and five. But they will not make it to yep. the semifinals. Yeah, for them it's not non-bearing game. Pero yung experience na makuha. Oh, there was a block touch. Was there? I wonder who it. I think there was a block touch. Oh, no. Nope. Oh. No block touch. It was really close. I <laughs> love <laughs> block touch. All right, so successful challenge for Coach De Brito. Game is tied at 19. There's Faith Nisperos again, a back strain for her. She did not play even a second. Yeah. That's a huge what if, no? If, yeah. if Nisperos played this game, because uh, Kaya, lumalaban yep. yung Akari against Creamline, and they even defeated Creamline the first set. I stand corrected. It's a six point run for the Chargers. They're up oh. by one. But Tots Carlos ties the game with her 22nd point. and Hazareno as Cobb and Manabat return for the Chargers. Could serve again. Ooh. Kumaba with the up. Here comes Galanza. And tip by Panaga for the point. And this is a three-point run for the Cool Smashers. Yeah. They're up by two. And Coach De Brito will call a timeout. Same trend there. High ball. Hey. 
If you don't, if you cannot come to four, I don't know who's coming for. Come for three. Give it space because she's there already. Okay. Okay. Three, four. Is there ready? High ball. It's okay. She can drop. Good. Be ready. The ball touch there. Also because she's running here, you can see. Okay. Hey, dale, hola. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. F2 Logistics Cargo Movers next against the high-speed hitters. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in HD and on demand. Anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Pilipinas Live. Download and register now. They need a good reception. And they oh. they want to stop this three-point run by the Cool Smashers. Uh, talking about the Chargers. Oh, Bumps with the up. Mafe Galanza, bad set. And there's oh, finally. the side out for the Chargers to stop the three-point run of the yeah. Cool Smashers. In, in that three-point run, it was uh, Bernard, Bernardo uh, serving, and all of her serves, it was all misreceptions from Akari. Lahat ng mga serve niya, either an ace or dinat drop na lang ng setter. So, wala sila nakuwang out, play out of that. Mafe Galanza to Gemma. Galanza? Oh. There's a net touch. Oh. Against Marciano. Marciano saying I didn't touch it. I don't think there's going to be a challenge from Coach DeBrito. Because. There's the. Yep, oh, there's yeah, there's a touch. There was a net touch by uh, Balicon. Watts Carlos is back in the game along with Kyle Negrito. Back to a two-point lead for the Cool Smashers. 23 serving 21. Cobb to Manabat. Block. Manabat picks it up. Cobb back to Manabat. Second try. A chance with the up. Chance ball all the way to the Chargers. Baliton. Uh -huh. Yes. Good drop ball by Baliton. Going away from Panaga. It was just too soft for uh, Negrito to put up to. So Marciano serving to tie it. Still no aces the entire game oh. for the Chargers, by the way. Ooh. Oh, a nice hit from the middle. Gemma Galanza gives the Cool Smashers two match points. Wow, and this just shows their maturity as a team. They were, they lost the first set. They were composed. They were down ten points. They were, uh, they were still composed. Nahabul nayon, nahabul nila yung ten points nayon, and they were still confident. Oh, now. and a <laughs> monster kill block to win the game. Wow. Spanaga with her thirteenth point, and that'll do it. Yeah, what a convincing win here for Greenline Cool Smashers. Even after losing that first set, the momentum was already on their side all throughout. And yeah. right now, Cool Smashers are doing everything right. Defending, attacking, passing, yeah. receiving, digging. And after a sloppy first set for the Cool Smashers, <laughs> they recover. Winning three straight to finish off the Chargers in four and stay perfect at 10 0. Relive this game and all PVL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Very tight all throughout, except that second set, Rex, that 11-point win for the Cool Smashers. So it goes to show you that the Chargers really put up a good fight in this their last game of the second All-Filipino Conference. Yes, uh, it was still a good game from Akari. However, they really just need to improve their uh, reception because everything just starts with service and receive. And the green line, man, I thought they were they just played consistently all throughout. The momentum is on their side, and Kyle Negrito has been, uh, 
Kante Grito really distributed the ball really well. Three players in double digits, and uh, Eliza Valdez had nine. And we have uh, Tots Carlos with 23. 23. Wow. And I stand corrected. The last block going to Tots Carlos. Yeah. Uh, Panaga will uh, stay with 12 points. Coming up next, Cargo Movers, High Speed Hitters. Our director, Marvin Chavez, for Kyla Achienza and uh, Kyla Castillo. My partner, Rex Intala and Eric Tipan. More action coming up right here on Pilipinas Live. Kasama ko sa training na dati idol lang. Lahat pwedeng matutunan sa kanya. Hindi siya susuko hanggat hindi niya nakakuha yung mga gusto niya.